when you have a series where people make a big deal over it merely making an appearance in a fighting game the series is either really really good or really really overrated Mega Man is one of those really really overrated series basically it was developed by Capcom who is now on the gamers hate list because they canceled 400 Mega Man games which let's be honest they were going to if they came out they probably would have been like Sonic games Capcom was just trying to give Mega Man mercy by canceling games which probably would have been mediocre instead of turning the franchise into a load of shit like Sonic. But the franchise already isn't that great in the first place. How? Well, I decided to try Mega Man 8 to see whatever what the fuss is about. Sure, I tried Mega Man X, but that wasn't in the same series. So let's start the game off, shall we? Now... I'm not going to talk about the graphics first off, especially considering that Capcom tries to sell to those people who want gaming to remain the exact same and never change, especially by what happened with Mega Man 9 and 10, by trying to sell it to that audience. But whatever, let's just talk about the game. The game itself, basically, the gameplay is pretty much the same as other Mega Man games, you know, like 1 through 6, where you play as Mega Man, you walk around extremely slowly, and, and, and there's robots and stuff which look like they were designed by the kids in, uh, 6th grade and shit. I mean, seriously, every single Mega Man character looks the same, just like how every other single Sonic character looks the same. They all have the same design things. I, I mean, I'm not even kidding. The game also has some amazingly bad voice acting. That hearing will cause you to lose your hearing. Mega Man, today we finish this. Hey, Zack, why must I fight you? We are not enemies. Shut up. Mega Man, stop. Mega Man, hurry, you must come with me. You can't leave yet. Let's check. Whoa. Okay, I'm sorry for letting your ears suffer, because that's what all the voice hacking in this game sounds like. Yes, they've got cutscenes, which are like, look like a low budget 90s anime, made because this game was made in the 90s, but they look even lower budget than Neon Genesis Evangelion, or whatever that show's called. And they ran out of budget halfway in it, so that at least had an excuse. So, my first impression with this game is, good lord, is this game boring. I mean, the load times aren't long, but the game, if you could turn boring into a video game, that's what this game would be. You pretty much play as Mega Man, you run extremely slowly, like, you call this shit running, it's, it's like about as fast as my grandma. And the music is pretty much disposable, forgettable music, like, I don't even know what this shit is, it just sounds like... That shit. So, it sounds like you're listening to an elevator. Like, you've played the CG, like the other Mega Man movie games. It's forgettable. The only people who'd remember it are people who, instead of listening to, like, legit music, only listen to video game music, and, they, and their only, like, actual music they've listened to is what they hear on the radio. And you can't crouch, you can't shoot in other directions, and remember, this game was made after games such as Metal Slug and shit, and yet this game feels extremely boring. It's like, if you could make boring a word, that's what this game feels like. Yeah, I know, I'm confused by this at first, but that's because it's one of those games that enemies respawn the second you go off the screen. Real annoying, isn't it? And, there's, yeah, there's no crouching, no ducking and stuff. You just have to hope it's in your line of fire. You also get other weapons too, but... They can be kind of annoying to use, like that stupid soccer ball weapon. And, basically, yeah, the gameplay is extremely boring. But let's talk about the graphics. Now that I've gotten about how boring the gameplay is, I mean, because that's all you do, you jump around and Capcom's too lazy to change it and stuff. 
the graphics look meh. Now, I know this is a PS1 game, but I've seen better on the Super Nintendo. In fact, they actually made a, spin a sequel or something called Mega Man in Base. Maybe I'll touch that another date or something. But it's a Super Nintendo game, which came out like a year after this with the exact same graphics. I mean... When the graphics of a Super Nintendo game look exact same as a PS1 game, you know the PS1 game was lazy. I mean, seriously. This game is pretty much boredom in a game. It's not fun. I mean, how is this game good at, again? I mean, I see people going on about how Mega Man is so awesome. He's going to be in, uh, in uh, some sliding game. Um... Just because a character might have been good when you thought when you were a kid, well, because you thought you were he was, doesn't mean he's any good. I mean, seriously, they've all got that same big-eyed robot design. Looks kind of like the stuff you'd, you'd see in a Fisher Price toy. Uh, I mean, and, and in the end, this game is just meh. And after the first level, of course, then you just pick some random robot master or whatever, and then run through that stage and then fight him. That's all this game really is, really. Repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. It gets boring after about 10 minutes. I wouldn't recommend anybody getting this game, unless you're one of those people who buys games because somebody said they were cool. If you're one of those people, then, um, then, then you should get this game, but if you're anybody else, just please, stay away from this game. It's not worth your money. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more.